Ladies and gentlemen, check it out, the brand new 2015 Jeep Renegade. And I recently had the chance to have a chat with the designer of this smallest of all Jeeps, Mark Allen. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. But first, a couple of facts that I found out today. The MPG on this will be, so far it's not announced, starting with a three. The price, also not announced, will start with a one. And believe it or not, this all-American Jeep is going to be built in Italy. Go figure. All right, Mark, first of all, tell me about this new Jeep. What was the design inspiration? Design inspiration for the Renegade, honestly, was all the good things, all the fun side of Jeep that comes from Wrangler. Uh, the Wrangler for us is still our icon. It's, it's the center of our universe. And we wanted to impart this vehicle with just as much of the Wrangler as we could in a small, easy to, to deal with package. Um, Renegade is really uh, an homage almost to the Wrangler. So it's very vertical front end, seven slot grille balanced by two big round lights. Uh, the windshield, very vertical. The whole package of the vehicle unwound, the, the tumble home's taken out, and the you sit kind of high in the vehicle. Uh, belt line is actually nice and low on this vehicle. Uh, the stance is, is set up really by these, these big fender flares. The, the, the wheels are out to the, the corners, and it's got this great presence on the road. Um, a lot of Jeep cues are, are put into this uh, that we get from the Wrangler, and the Wrangler really was the playbook for it. Uh, for instance, I love the, re the rear three-quarter of this vehicle. Uh, the fact that the taillight is not just fared into the body, it's like a Wrangler. It's, it's a, almost a found object disintegrated from the body and then, and then pushed into it. I, I love that kind of um, the cues from Wrangler without being exactly Wrangler, but if we didn't have that vehicle, we would never come up with this answer. Now, obviously, people want to know, you know, the DNA is, of course, Wrangler, but mm -hmm. how about the underpinnings? Is it off-road capable? Does it have, you know, the Jeepness that makes Jeep so great off-road in the snow? Capability is huge for yeah. us. Uh, the vehicle is offered with two-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, but uh, also a real four-wheel drive system. And what I mean by that is, is the front and rear axles are powered uh, independently of each other so that they're it's, it's not a, a, a slip system. Um, only vehicle in the class that'll have that. Plus on the, the Trailhawk version, it'll sit a little bit higher, has a, a larger Trailhawk only tire, a special wheel. The uh, approach and departure angles are more aggressive on that vehicle. So yeah, it's got a lot of great uh, off-road capability. It'll be the best in its class. It'll be the only one in its class, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah. to compete with it. Um, maybe the new trucks from Chevy, you know, maybe the old SX4, right? There's not a lot of cars in this category. No, a, a, no. And it, it's, um, I think it's it's such an iconic shape for us anyway. Uh, and to have this great four-wheel drive system, off-road, uh, but not even off-road, snow, uh, just when it's wet and rainy out, mud, mud, whatever. So what color is this? Ah. Colorado red. Colorado red. <laughs> We're here in Colorado. And, and it comes in, it comes in uh, quite a few different colors. Uh, we brought the Colorado red vehicle out to, to Colorado, but uh, just like we do with Wrangler, a lot of really fun colors, a lot of uh, more serious colors to it. So there's an army green, there's a straight gray, orange, yellow. I see a little Jeep icon in the headlight. I see a lot of Easter eggs, right? You guys hit a lot of little jeep they are hidden and i'm not going to show you <laughs> how, many, how many are here you know i don't know two, we don't count i'm not going to show you where they're at so uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're not easter eggs if i show you where they're right. at so tell me about the inside what's what, what was the inside inside uh inside and outside of the vehicle were done really together uh yeah. and a lot of very you know Jeep cues to it. Uh, you'll see the trapezoidal shape show up in the speakers, the grab handle. It's got to have a chicken handle on the, on the far side. side. Or, oh, you know what handle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't see it on your show. Yep. Uh, the, the center vents in the top, it was a real packaging challenge. And the, I like the those. Design, They're very rugged looking. Yeah, the designers really drew, drew inspiration from ski goggles, okay. which is cool. Yeah. And you see the, you know, since 1941 on there, all the good Jeep heritage stuff. The inside is, the, the, the neat thing about it is it really is this sort of 
uh, upright package to it. There's no, there's no crunching down and trying to look around things. It's uh, you sit really nicely in this vehicle. And I noticed that in the four-wheel drive version that we have here, right? You've got snow mode, you've got sand, so you can actually selectable modes. Yeah, uh, it's just like we've done with Cherokee. There's a lot of uh, selectable, and what that does is it changes the characteristics of the drive system. For instance, uh, in in uh, mud, I want a little bit of slip in the tires, and s s snow mode, I don't want any slip at all. So it gives you more control. And yes. Is it an automatic control where it just decides what it should do by itself? There's an auto yeah, setting an auto where, it, where yeah. it kind of picks the best in the situation, and it picks up off the wheel speed sensors to tell you if you got slip or not. Now my sense is that this is much more of an urban Jeep. Does that make sense? I mean, it's small, it's something that people in big cities can easily park. It, it's kind of a do-all. Yeah. It, it really is. Let's see how much um, room there is back here. How much room do you have back here? Very short rear overhang. It's, Where is it? Is it down here? It's right in the middle. Yeah, I think it's locked. Well, it shouldn't be. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's quite a bit of room for a little car. Lots of grocery space back there. The, the lift off, the MySky panels both fit back there. It's available with a full size spare tire, especially on the Trailhawk when you need that off road. Yeah. Um, a lot of storage reconfigured. 60 40 folding split. 60 40 hemp. Uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty roomy actually for such a small car. It's, well, a, for box. America, it's, a, it's small, a box. It's a box. It's a box. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this: Have you driven it? Very briefly. Yeah. And yeah. What's the drive uh, like? I, I drove I drove the uh, one four yeah. turbo yeah. all wheel drive car. I really liked it, okay. and it's it's refreshing to drive a manual transmission uh, with a turbo. You got to work it a little bit harder, yeah. but I think that's the fun. Yeah. yeah. So that's the smaller engine, right? Because this has the bigger. This has the 2.4 liter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how about room back here? Did you guys sit in it? Yeah. You'll fit. fit. You'll fit just fine. Right, let's see if I fit. That's a car scoop. I do fit. Look at that. Go cross town. You wouldn't go cross country, but yeah, that's fun. Hey, that's the Jeep part. Look at that. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> So is that like a Liberty top, the same kind of idea? <clears throat> it's, it's called, we call it MySky on this. Yeah. And the idea is the, the front panel can either be powered back or slid back manually, yeah. or you can lift out the front and the rear together, both fit in a bag and store in the back. But no one else in the class has that. And it's the, the whole Jeep message, the inside, outside, uh, outdoors. So yeah. when will you get yours? When do you get the <laughs> you uh, first time? first of the year? Yeah. yeah, we'll be we'll be needing it in Michigan. And yeah. when will people be able to buy these? When are they available? Yeah, uh, first of fifteen. But first, of the beginning of the year, they can go to their Jeep dealership. Yeah, absolutely. And the two things you announced was fuel economy is going to start with a three. That's what I'm told. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the price is going to start with a one. That's what I'm told. All yeah, right. yeah. Right. I'm not the price of your fuel economy guy, but yeah, yeah. Right. No, they'll they'll both be favorable numbers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And will there be? Um, you know, all these lifestyle things you can get with it. Oh, you God. Know, all the toys, We're going to have uh, so much fun yeah. with this this car. Same thing we do with Wrangler. We, you see what we do with Wrangler all the time. There's, right, exactly. there's a special there's, model all the yeah. time. And um, honestly, that, that sounds like it'd get tedious. It's, it's, it's really pretty refreshing, especially yeah. when we throw some new paint color on it yeah. or a wheel trim. We'll do the same thing so with like this. A dragon vehicle. edition. Uh, Probably not a du dragon. Call of Duty edition. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> an Arctic edition, an Islander edition. What else? You what name am I it. Missing? There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I've lost track. I can't even keep track of them all. Yeah. So there was all a Rocky that, Mountain edition. edition. So all yeah. that will eventually come. Uh, something will happen yeah. to this uh, at a regular basis. Okay. Yeah. So there'll be uh, a way to keep it useful. I, I, I view this vehicle in the same uh, veins that we do with Wrangler. So it'll have all that kind of fun. And will you uh, actually do Rubicon Trail? Or have you, has it done Rubicon Trail? Uh, it has not done Rubicon Trail. I doubt it. W yeah. We will take it on Rubicon now. Probably not that. Not if, that. Wrangler's. If you need to go down Rubicon Trail, you need a, all right. a Rubicon. And, and here's a softball question. What's your favorite part of the new running? Honestly, if you, it's not a part or a piece. Yeah. It's, it's the character. And so we've seen them driving around at home now. They're yeah. testing them. And uh, I dare you to see it on the road and not smile. It's just, it's a cool looking car. So it's got that kind of uh, mini vibe? Yeah, 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 it kind of does. Is that fair? Yeah, fair assessment. Right. But it's uh, it's the Jeep answer. I think uh, you'll recognize it immediately as a Jeep, uh, but it has its own kind of flavor. Nathan, come on over here. So, so uh, what do you think of this, Nathan? He's going to let me take it off road. Yeah. And I'm just going to beat the. Hey, it's so <laughs> tall. Yeah. That's what it's for. <laughs> You're going to beat the to beat the bang out of it, huh? Well, beat the snots out of it. I know you'll test the, it. Well, you know yeah. what I. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 
What I would like to see with these vehicles is the fact that you had them testing up here in the Colorado area mm -hmm. right now under load. We saw some trailers behind a few of them. <laughs> oh, we put up on the website already. Too late. <laughs> Tweeted. That's fine. <laughs> Posted. They That's took 5,000. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. That's what we've been I, told. I, what I've not done is, is much off-roading in it. And you know me, I'll, I'll get off-road and I'll play with I'll find the limits of this thing. But um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think you'll see it on the road. You'll like it. You're, you're this kind of guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I like yeah. it. I, I, I think it's kind of a cool looking vehicle. I'm really looking forward to actually driving on the streets too, for once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, a Jeep on the streets. Oh, well, Who that's, that's for all. Yeah. The manual transmission, is mm -hmm. it the same one that's out of the Fiat 500L? Don't know for sure. You yeah. stumped him. Yeah. Well, I just because we just had the Fiat 500L with the six speed manual. It's, it's not a dual clutch or anything like that. No, it's no, a standard. Standard manual. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it is guys, the fun route. We will get a chance to drive it uh, at some point, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, stay tuned for that video. As always, this is Mark Allen, the chief designer for Jeep. How long have you been doing that job now? Mm, pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> so if you love Jeeps, this is your man. And yeah. if you love the really Cherokees over there, if you're really pissed off, this is your man. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> and of course, it. Nathan and Roman saying thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao. Cool. <laughs> Too bad. Thanks a lot. It's always Appreciate fun it. with you guys. <laughs> thanks, Mark.